So how many more days until you head down to Sakona? Um, three, two. How you feeling? Uh, feeling good. I mean, like like I've posted, training training hasn't gone exactly the way I wanted to, but uh, I'm I'm I made it to the end. Awesome, awesome. So we're so we're going to have a hashtag following everything that you're doing and leading into Kona. And so uh, we're going to use hashtag Mr. 404. So if anyone wants to keep up with what you're doing down there, as well as maybe your travel um, the day before the race and things that we're gearing up and getting ready for Kona and during Kona and maybe even after Kona, they can follow the hashtag and know what's going on with Mr. 404, uh, our Ironman uh, record holder. So what do you have planned down in Hawaii once you get there? Uh, stay out of the sun and sleep and recover and uh, show up on race day. So you haven't been to Kona before yet, right? I've not been to Kona. I've uh, I've, I've seen I've seen I've seen lots of NBC video. Yeah. But... <laughs> you think that uh, when you get there and get settled, you'll ride the course completely? Uh, and if so, how many times do you think next week? I'm I'm definitely gonna look at the course. Uh, how much of it I ride, I don't know. Uh, just gonna s just see how I feel. There's, uh, I mean, I just really, just really, the, I think the key for me is just to be completely rested on race day, and uh, I'm not gonna go out and sk to scout all week and uh, be tired for the day, the day of the race. Well, I know your wind tunnel uh, work that you did with Mavic indicated that that was, uh, you know, the 80 is a, a good setup, if not if not better under a lot of conditions. So. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised at that. And the other thing I was surprised about was uh, when they compared uh, the drag coefficient on my bike uh, being a size large or Bay of frame to uh, Frederick Van Leer's medium P5. That the Orbea actually had a lower drag. My my race ready Orbea bike had less drag than his race ready bike did. So, I mean, as much as I see all these numbers from from Cervelo about how much less drag they have than everyone else, um, my bike's more aero than his, and I have a bigger bike. So, I mean, we'll see on race day. The nice confidence boost. Uh, well, I think we got a better motor on our bike too. <laughs> yeah, it's a bigger motor. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go out there and go as fast as I can. I'm joking. I'm, joking. I'm not going to go. As, as all you guys know, I'm not going to give an, an ounce less than everything I have in me. And uh, I'm number 52, and I told my wife when I found out I was number 52 that at the end of the race, you're going to have to do 52 pickup. So, uh, you know, kind of, a, kind of a fun analogy. But, it, you know, come race week, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot more focused and be a lot less lighthearted and more... Uh, of that animal instinct, but uh, this far out, it's I just want to learn. I want to get to know the place. I want to understand the gods. I want to uh, so in the future I can use that to push me along on the course and uh, hopefully win the race at some day. Okay, Andrew, there's some people at the the Orbe U.S. headquarters that want to say something to you. Let me let me gather them up here. So let me make room for everybody to get in here. But uh, we just wanted to wish you good luck and and we hope you kill it at Kona in your first year uh, and tear it down. All right. I'm going to make you guys proud, don't worry. All right, good oh, luck, dude. Good luck. Thanks good a lot. Good luck, Andrew. Have a great time. We will. We will. Have fun.